A South Carolina state senator struggled to stay upright during a sobriety test and worried aloud about losing his job after a car crash, according to new dashcam videos taken during his DUI arrest. Republican Paul Campbell, 71, claims his wife Vicki Campbell was behind the wheel on Saturday when their car rear-ended 21-year-old Michaela Cadden's vehicle on Interstate 26. But Cadden said she watched the politician get out of the car and switch seats with his wife after the crash, the Post and Courier reported. After a state trooper arrived at the scene of the crash and asked Campbell to step out for sobriety tests, the lawmaker acknowledged he wasn't doing particularly well. Charleston County Jail via app in the video taken from the patrol car, Campbell can be seen struggling to stay upright as the trooper asks him to walk in a straight line. The politician, however, said in addition to being diabetic, one of his legs is shorter than the other. Campbell was arrested and charged with driving under the influence and his blood alcohol concentration clocked in at 0.09%, just over the legal limit of 0.08%. Credit South Carolina Department while Campbell sat handcuffed in the patrol car, he said, this may cost me my job. You know that, I guess. He also told the trooper about his role as chief executive of the Charleston airport, adding, of course, I may not be after this. Campbell later complained about the handcuffs and said, this is not fun. This kinda sucks. I'm going to change the law on this, I'm not DUI. IWASNT driving the car anyway. Cadden issued a statement after the crash, telling reporters, I was shocked when I heard the story he told the media. I was afraid when I heard a man entrusted with so much power say something that was so different from what I saw happen.